Yes, hello. This is Stefan and I'm uh, working here on my transceiver and I would like to share this transceiver project with you. And maybe you are getting interested in uh, amateur radio or building uh, receivers and transmitters and uh, it maybe inspires you. I would like to go through all the, the steps I ta I've taken over the last year almost and I'm uh, gonna blog it and maybe it is of any interest. Uh, what you see here in front of you is the whole transceiver and uh, that I will go through then step by step. Um, maybe we start where the antenna signal um, enters the board. That's, uh, I try to catch this here on camera. Let me see. Uh, it seems to work. Here on the back the antenna, which is on the roof, it's a simple wire antenna, is entering the transceiver. It's getting here into the uh, RF amplifier. This is an antenna amplifier. And then goes through these three um, bandpass filters. The transceiver works on three bands on 80 meter, on 20 and 40 and then 20 meter. And after these bandpass filters, the, the filtered signal is going into the the mixer board. And the mixers you see here. You see three mixers on this board. Some power supply stuff here. But the important are these three mixers. The first mixer here is mixing the input signal. Um, down to 9 uh, megahertz, the ZF, the, the intermediate frequency is uh, 9 megahertz. It's generated by a synth synthesizer, a 25 megahertz crystal. Maybe you see it, I don't know. It's, it's gonna be difficult here. Yeah, all right. Yeah, anyway, we go into that uh, into detail then later. These 9 megahertz signal this intermediate frequency is going to be filtered by this crystal filter it's a homebrew crystal filter eight uh, pole and then afterwards it's going to be the signal is going to be demodulated and then transferred to the um, audio amplifier and then i have a third mixer here because this mixer is is mixing the intermediate frequency down to 300 kilohertz in these 300 kilohertz, through this uh, long uh, bandpass filter, is going into the analog to digital converter of uh, of this board here. And the input is here on the top, and then with a fast Fourier transformation, we're gonna see the spectrum of plus minus about 50 kilohertz from the receiving signal. Um, this is the the monitor of the transceiver. It has also the RXTX, uh, the PTT button to transmit or receive. Um, the analog part is, is this microphone uh, amplifier here. It starts, uh, the TX starts with audio signal. It is an audio, this is a simple elect electret uh, uh, microphone here and some uh, amplification and then I also have uh, two Wien bridges to generate a two-tone so I can select two tones, both or only one for test purposes. And uh, the audio amplifier then is, is back there, um, it's not so spectacular. What you see here, however, that's more interesting. That's the power amplifier. First we have a, a pre-amplifier. We get a, a rather small signal from the mixers. Um, 
Then I have a, a pre-stage, 2N20, 2N2219, uh, a very old transistor, but it works very well as a preamplifier. And then back here, um, we have down here with MRF uh, 101 power amp. And this amp here is generating about 40 50 watts a little more on 80 a little less on 20 meters on 40 meters it's about 40 watts and of course it needs cooling it's getting everything's getting hot on the on here <laughs> so you better watch the cooling well that's about uh, what this transceiver is doing and uh, well I, I hope uh, it's uh, somewhat interesting for you and then on the first uh, block video after this introduction we're going to talk about this antenna amplifier and then walk our walk our way through all the blocks of this transceiver all right let's do it then <laughs>